The HRM9 is the most popular SMG across all of multiplayer in Warzone, but everyone's rocking the wrong build. So I got y'all with the fastest TTK, lowest recoil, and best feeling HRM9 on the market right now. Which the HRM9 is now actually in rank play, so if you want to use it in rank, this build is going to work pretty good for that. I will give you a little variation though if you want this gun to be a little bit easier to use, since this gun does have a little bit of a bouncy recoil. It doesn't affect you that much, but it can if the enemy's on a nice heady across the map, which give it you shouldn't really be taking those gunfights. If you the, uh, the FTAC MSP-98 hand stop though, this is going to add a lot of vertical recoil control as well as recoil gun kick control. Those two things are going to severely reduce the overall balance of the weapon. Yes, we are losing a little bit of a horizontal, but it's only 2%, so you shouldn't really notice that. And then if we took a look at the mobility, you guys can move around the map a little bit quicker. You can ADS walk a little bit quicker, which is actually going to help you reduce the recoil on the weapon. Since you always want to like aim with your left stick, you always want to strafe as you're shooting the enemy, and that's how you kind of track them. And when you have this under barrel, it's going to allow you to strafe very very quickly making it easier to actually kill the enemy by the way are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost then i would check out my long-term sponsor guapsi they will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game you can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review i'll have their link in the description the zen compensate flash hider we all know it's a super good muzzle best muzzle in the game for recoil control get the horizontal we get the vertical and it really doesn't hurt the weapon at all that's why you guys see me rock it on every single build we get a lot of recoil control, not really losing any range or mobility. You're still going to be able to fly around the map, especially with the underbarrel, since the underbarrel is giving us recoil control and mobility, so it's going to make the gun very easy to use and that's why it's one of the best guns in the game usually i would go over and add the folding stock because it gives us recoil gun control gun kick control and fire aiming stability this is going to be the best stock if you want very very little recoil in the weapon but if you add the hatchet light stock you guys can see it actually does increase the mobility a lot we get more ads speed ads movement speed movement speed and crouch movement speed overall making the gun feel a whole lot lighter yes we are losing recoil control but that's why we got the underbarrel and that muzzle on there to compensate those cons and now we have a very, very fast ADS, which is going to help you like win those up and close gunfights whenever you're, you know, running around the map and you see an enemy and it's whoever ADS is first. You should be able to ADS first because this thing makes it feel so much lighter. The no stock is also pretty good, but you know, that's a little bit niche and uh, kind of hard to use. Now, next to that, we are going to be increasing the ammo count. We only have about 30 rounds on here. Personally, I fly through that. I think you do need extra ammo. You guys can add the 50. I wish they had like a 40 round mag because I don't like how it really does hurt the weapon. But look how much mobility and handling that we are losing. Like, it's really not that good, but it's 50 rounds, and I think those pros heavily outweigh those cons. When we go back in here, you guys can see ADS speed is still very good. You guys can see that recoil control is pretty good. It looks bouncy, but once you're in game, you'll see it's still pretty easy to use, especially if you're on controller, since aim assist will reduce the overall recoil on the weapon. Now we got the mobility, we got the recoil control, and we have extra ammo. From here, it's really going to be personal preference. You guys can add whatever you want. You could even say that magazine is personal preference. Just make sure you have the stock, the underbarrel, and the muzzle. Do whatever you want for the last two attachments. If you want more recoil control, the best uh, attachment is going to be the PCS-90 Assault Grip. This one gives you that gun can control the fire aim and stability, as well as just base recoil control. Yes, we are losing ADSP, but it's only about 5%. Those pros will outweigh those cons. And so if you guys want very little recoil, run this exact build. That's not the one I'm rocking in the gameplay. I'll give you guys the gun. I'll give you the full build in a second. But the uh, Solar Flare, very good on there. Increases that sprint of fire, so makes it easier to win those close range engagements. If you want to run an optic i would run the slave reflector the moore's dot site is a brand new one that you guys should definitely try out i think it's a little bit too chode like though so it kind of pisses me off and then the mk3 and the niner model are also pretty good i think the iron sights are pretty good and for me i would rather actually go over and add the princeps long barrel this is why i'm saying it's one of the fastest killing smgs now because this is going to increase the effective damage range from 16.5 meters up to about 20.6 meters as well as increasing the bow velocity so then it's going to feel more like hit scan it's going to feel like you're playing on a better ping but look at the head Shot damage is doing 35 damage, which is pretty good. So make sure you mix in a couple of headshots to your gunfire, and you're gonna win every single one. And then the cons really for this barrel, there's like no cons. We're losing a little bit of our mobility, a little bit of our handling. It's really not that much, and it also gives you some very clean iron sights. You guys are gonna see in today's back-to-back -to -back MGB gameplay, absolutely incredible. Look at this. 
Okay, I just missed every shot. Don't look at that. But the iron sights are pretty clean and always straight in your gunfights. It's going to make it a little bit easier to use. It takes a little bit of time to get used to. But if you get used to it, you're going to pop off with this build. And, uh, you know, this one might be a little bit awkward to use in rank play. Like, if you want less recoil, the one I recommend kind of in rank play is going to be something like this. You could take off the optic to add the princeps long barrel. Or you could take off the rig up to add the princeps long barrel. But this build is going to be very low recoil. And it's going to work good for, like, multiplayer rank play. Warzone and stuff you definitely want to try out this build again you can take off the barrel and add something else if you want now you guys should have every single best hrm 9 build in the entire game and then here is my favorite secondary the core 45 this thing so unbelievably broken it's a little bit awkward when you fire it. whenever you pull the trigger it fires once and when you release the trigger it fires once so just spam the trigger as fast as you can and that's how you get the fast time to kill run of the compression care so then we can replenish our health after every kill allowing those chain kills to get so much easier and then we got the marksman gloves surprisingly i didn't really run out of ammo so usually i run the scavenger but marksman gloves are super op on the smgs because it reduces flinch so if the enemy gets first shot on you you're still going to be able to stay on target because of the marksman gloves cover sneakers so the enemies don't hear us and then i've been running mag holster because i've been playing pretty aggressive ghost is also very good and then eod is why i usually run in rank plan with all that said let's get into it Yo, ladies and gents, I gotta do something about, like, my face him getting dark. I, I don't know if I just have to get way more light in my face. If there's any light technicians watching this video, let me know. Because, basically, I have uh, these big windows to my left. I make my videos in the living room just because I don't really like working in a small room. And I live alone, so I'm like, yo, I'm throwing the setup in the living room. Bro, why am I not killing these enemies? But, so, where the sun placement is and everything midday when i usually go to record around like noon to like 3 p.m is when it's uh well i guess until the sun sets the sun sets with it going into the windows and so then it kind of like you know puts a lot of light behind me more than the light that's in my face so to minimize like right now it looks good but like you know it's still not that good so would i have to like get some stronger blinds except for the blinds like you can't really take them off the blinds are these ones where you pull this like this chain down and then they unwind and they're like the ones that are like set in the building so i can't really do i can't put my own blackout blinds maybe i can get like a big tarp or something but then that would just be obnoxious kind of so i think i just need more light in my face than the light that's behind me i think i should know this though you know i'm a fucking youtuber it's my job content creator okay let's let's lock it in let's see if we can get this nuke this build so fun to use in warzone because you know it feels like the og growl super easy to use at long range and on like uh, on rebirth island it works out oh my god do you see what i mean rebirth island it works out very well because that map is so tiny oh my god i saw that guy I, I just like you know i saw someone in front of me i was like I i'm gonna get them both okay so we are running out of ammo the enemies are spawning right here in my face I feel like I gotta bring, uh, grab this guy's primary. What is this? MCW? I'll take it. Actually, this is the worst gun in the game. Oh, yo. Huge update in rank play. Pretty sure you guys are... The rank play update is out by the time you guys are seeing this. They're adding the BP-50 and the HRM in the ranked. For like a weapon evaluation. Which is what I've been saying on Twitter for a while. They always do like map evaluation where they test out different maps. See how it plays. I'm like, yo, why don't they do that in like rank play as well so that we can you know test out the other guns and then if they're good and things and they work out maybe the pros can use them in their matches or stuff like that and just to you know spice up rank play because rank play was getting a little bit boring because of that but now now we got the bp50 we got the hrm we got some other things like this game has so much content i'm so happy about it sorry for not using the hrm guys it's just you know can't really do anything about it Oh, and now we got ammo. Now I got ammo, but, uh, you know, this is an AR map. And so the MCW does a lot better than the SMGs, even though that it's not that good of a gun. But you know what? We got the long-range HRM. Doesn't even matter. Make sure you always strafe in your gun fights. That's how I aim. Like, I literally don't even use the right stick when aiming at the enemies. I just use my left stick. Like, obviously, you know, you gotta have centering and stuff like that, but, you know. MGP? It's just too simple, boys. And ladies, and ladies, and who's yeah, everything. Let's go. Yo, leave a like, subscribe. Also, yo, I'm gonna be going live on my Twitch a little bit more. Basically, you know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk to you guys like you're, you're my brothers, because you guys are. 
Even if you're a female. You know, you know what I mean. So, the goal is... But one of my aspirations in life is to have a thousand... Well, three thousand viewers. Just be able to average two thousand viewers. Peak at around three thousand in the day. And, you know, at first it was a thousand. But, you know, we, we gotta have some buffer room in there. So, to be able to get there, I don't think it really works on YouTube too well. Because YouTube goes off like recommendations and things like that. It's just a little bit weird. Like I don't understand it necessarily. And on the other platforms, for example, like Kick and Twitch, the more viewers you have. Oh, I'm not saying this as a, in like greed and things. It just is like cool, you know. It's just it just seems cool to have like a lot of people watching you. Like that's just sick and having a lot of people to talk to. And like the more people you have watching you is like the more fun things in a way obviously you know yeah you make more like financially things but then like with that you can do more thing more, more fun things help out more family members do more things for my mother and father and you know what i okay so i don't want you guys to think it's for like greed and things it's just like you know cool shit it's just cool <laughs> like uh, if you guys leave a like on the video right now it doesn't really do much but it just looks cool you know leave a like then i know that you know i you know that this many people I helped them with that many classes. You know, it's just cool. Okay, so I'll, I'll start getting sidetracked. Um, so I really want to be able to have a couple thousand viewers. YouTube seems a little bit weird for that, and I haven't seen too much growth. And on the other platforms, you can get... Oh, my God. You can get... If you have a decent amount of viewers, you'll, like, rank higher. Because everything's kind of like a list. Like, they'll have, like, top... Like, the most viewers at the top and lower viewers at the bottom. So, if you don't have any viewers, it's harder to get discovered. But if you have a lot of viewers, it's really easy to get discovered. And the compound effect is very strong. And um, so, I want to start going live. Yeah! Multiplayer isn't the best to stream. I feel like multiplayer is... Like, it works out for videos and things. It works out kind of for streaming. But... Um, there's a reason why Warzone always has, like, way more viewers. First of all, free-to-play. And then also, I feel like when you have that end game, you know, that win towards the end. A lot of people click on a stream, including me, and, like, I'll watch the stream until the end of the game. And usually the Warzone matches last, like, 30 minutes long or something like that. So then, um, and I really enjoy Warzone. And I really want to be able to stream Warzone. I can't really stream Warzone on this channel because this channel is for, like, multiplayer. And I don't really want Warzone subscribers over here. It still works out, kind of, but you know what I mean, you know? Like, Warzone people aren't really going to watch multiplayer videos too much, so then if I start streaming Warzone, then I start getting people wanting Warzone, but then I'm, like, uploading multiplayer videos, which is one reason I do the class first, so then it can help out both people. It can help out the Warzone and the multiplayer and try to mention both, but I think you guys understand what I mean. YouTube, you got to stick to whatever you upload. That's what you got to stream, and I don't really like that. I want to be able to, like kind of stream anything or like some days if i want to stream a different game like for example apex i want to be able to do that but like still you know have my audience there and not get subscribers for like apex so i was like okay i need to grow another platform we need to grow on like the other streaming platforms which is kick or twitch i was doing kick for a bit because they only take about five percent of your revenue so if someone subscribes on there that's five bucks and then uh kick would only take five percent if someone subscribes on twitch twitch takes 50 percent Unless you get the Partner Plus, which is you need about 300 active subscribers on Twitch for three months in a row or something like that. And then you can get the 70-30 split, which is what YouTube does. YouTube takes 30% of all Super Chats and things like that. Twitch before the Partner Plus is 50% with the Partner Plus 70-30. Kick only takes 5% though. So I was like, okay, that's like... People probably like that more since, you know, we have a lot of very generous people that do a lot for me on the streams. Like, I cannot thank them enough. Like, they actually do so much allowing me to like take care of family and just you know pay my team and stuff like that like they're actually insane I'm super thankful for my community you guys oh my god no 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 so then i was like okay they probably is not i always feel weird talking about this but um they enjoy supporting me more when i get all the revenue not saying they have to i'm just saying like they the people who like the support a lot like that, they prefer to do it on kick because of the, of how YouTube, how I get more of it because they're donating to me, not like a platform, you know, I don't want to sound greedy at all. I'm just here to talk in a real sense to you guys. So then uh, I was doing kick and stuff a little bit every day on, uh, after YouTube for a while, like last year. And then I stopped because I feel like it was, it was just really weird and I was just doing it the wrong way, but, um, now I've been streaming Warzone like a few times uh, a week on there. 
And I realized that like the top Warzone streamers have like four to 500 viewers, even sometimes 300 viewers. Let's call this MGB. And so the ceiling is very low. The ceiling is so low. So it's like very hard to really get up there. Yeah, you can make a lot more, but like, you know, the ceiling's low. So on Twitch, the ceiling's way higher. Like the top Warzone streamer has thousands of viewers compared to Kick, which is like 200 to 500. And so I'm like, shit, do I go live on Twitch? I'll continue the, the speaking portion of my yappiness in the second gameplay. Oh my god, okay. Typically, the Xbox players, like, load in way slower. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's since there's, like, the PlayStation exclusive deal. They, like, do something to make it so the Xbox players load in slower. I don't know what it is, but they do. And, like, they always have really bad mics. Not as bad as, like, the PS5 controller mics. But a lot of the time, they have some pretty bad mics. And then it takes forever for them to load in. So I'm just sitting here forever. Okay, LM bro, what, what is this mic? LM bro, the, it's not about the, it's not your aim, it, it's your mic then. Jesus, it's always the one person you don't view to. Okay, so like I was saying about the viewers and stuff, is that Twitch has like a way higher ceiling, so like it's easier to get up to those numbers. A lot easier. One thing though okay, that can change everything. Is that I have to start going live on TikTok and I gotta start like, you know, just uploading way more to the TikTok, getting those Warzone clips. I really do enjoy Warzone. More so Resurgence, Rebirth Island. The other stuff kind of annoy me. Like regular, I don't really care for. I'm gonna play a regular BR. I usually like having a lot of health, like Apex or something. I usually don't care for like low health BRs, if that makes sense. Resurgence feels like multiplayer, so that's why I like that. That's why I got the second channel, more Seabass. And if you want to see me play live on there, Follow the kick. Soon, I'm going to start going live on Twitch. That's once I get very good at rebirth, at rebirth. Like, I can get a lot of, like, 20s and 30s right now. But I want to consistently, you know, drop those 40 bombs before I start going live on Twitch. But like I was saying about the TikTok, I got to start going live on TikTok. And then you bring those people over to your stream. And that's typically how people can get all the viewers. That's, like, basically the meta of streaming. You have to go live on TikTok. And then um, bring them over to the platform that you're on. It's a little bit easier to bring them over to Twitch because Twitch is just popular, more popular. So it's a lot easier to bring people older over. And that's the way to do it. And then go to like live on YouTube shorts as well. Which maybe, okay. Oh, yeah, that's an MGV. Let's go. So if you didn't know, you can go live on YouTube shorts. I know a lot of you guys don't know about that. So you have like the regular live stream and you got YouTube shorts as well. And you can do the both at the same time. Which I, I'm Devour might be doing that. I gotta like hit him up and ask him about that. If it's worth it. Bro, this pistol, definitely worth it. Oh my god, it's nasty. But yeah, right now I just go live just on YouTube. I should probably try doing YouTube short streams. And then YouTube stream at the same time. But like if I could do a YouTube short stream, a TikTok stream, and bring them over to the Twitch, I feel like that's the way that we're gonna hit our goals in life. And so if you wanna if you want to see me playing some Warzone and you want to be there, make sure you follow the kick. Follow the Twitch. Let's move on. Sorry for all the uh, the yaps about that. So the game's not even close to being over. We already got an MGB. Hey, yo, the lighting's not too bad. I closed the blinds just now, and then I turned on the lights behind me, but I think I just need definitely bigger lights in front of me. Because, like, this is the darkest I can get behind me. Besides, like, I guess I have, like, my, uh, some other lights. I just don't have any sunlight, like, no window light. It's all my, uh... The other lights. <laughs> Bro, this thing is incredible. This setup, absolutely incredible. I love this thing. It's so simple to use. Make sure you hit first shot, though. First shot makes it a lot easier. We don't die. We don't die. We don't die. Bro, this iron sight is so clear. I know a lot of people don't like this iron sight, but I love this iron sight. It's so, like, satisfying to look at. A little bit weird at times, but super satisfying. Yo, who's shooting at me? Buddy, what are you doing in the white van? Are you selling candy again? Come on. Calm down. Yo, I might be able to get, like, two nukes. Because we're already on another 10. Eh. Where did he go? Yo, teammates just came in like Robin. What do I swear that guy should have died? I literally 
You sh should have died so long ago. I probably could have. I probably could have upgraded my Inferno Tower by the time that guy died. Speaking of Clash, join the Clash of Clans clan. Lubina, L-U-B-I-N-A is my clan. We're looking for a couple members over there. If you can't get in, like if the requirements are too high, kind of a live stream ask me and I, I might let you in. I might. If you if you got the passion. If you got the cock passion, the Clash of Clans passion. I'm trying to lock it in, but we have so much time. This literally could be insane gameplay. He didn't know what was going on. So it looks like we're losing. There's not going to be too much time. I should honestly start capturing flags so then the game lasts a little bit longer. But I got the MGV and I was so excited to call that in because, they, you know, they, they think they're going to win. But no, I'm insta win right here. And, yo, I sometimes get comments of people saying like, yo, why don't you play the objective? If you're just going to go for kills, why don't you go play TDM? Brother, you don't need everyone playing the objective. Like, when you're playing hardpoint, you only need one person in the hardpoint. The rest of the people can, like, slay out, get streaks. And if I have, like, all these streaks up, it should be easy for my team to capture the objective. You know, I'm doing the slaying rule. Okay, I gotta make sure I actually call this in because there's times where I forget. Like, I'll wait and then I'll just forget to call it in. Okay, Tickle Monster. You're a lot worse than you think, buddy. You're a lot worse than you think. You're not good at the game. Nope. I'm better. I'm better. You got nuked, bitch. Yeah, time to leave the game. I guarantee you he's going to leave the game. Let's go! Easy. Simplicity. Get nuked, bitches. Get fucking nuked. Suck my dick. Guard my balls. Lick my gooch.